GTA Online came out 10 years ago today, October 1st, 2013, and I can't believe it has been 10 years already. Not only that, but I can't believe we're still playing this game 10 years later. And I've come to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update. I wanted to make videos for the past few months focusing on some of the negative things that's been going on in GTA, like GTA Plus, the really, really shitty update we got for the summer. The only content left to make on this game is once every six months, there's a new update. Ooh, there's weekly updates, and then there's just hating on the game. It's, oh, they did this negative thing, GTA Plus sucks this, and sucks that. It's most of the content surrounding this game, at least that gets views and is remotely watchable is the negative things about this game if you're a brand new player and you want to know what cars you want to get and that sort of stuff the guides in the little make money series are really really great from some of the other bigger tubers but the only other content on this game to make is just shitting on the game because it's gotten a lot of bad raps especially the last couple of years with bad updates gta plus i mean i could go on forever them taking a bunch of cars away and hiding them behind a paywall yada 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 there's just so much negativity going around in this game i've been wanting to make a video on one of those things but there's just no motivation to do so i don't like to hate on this game because like i said it's my favorite game of all time but it's been very hard to enjoy the past few years and if it's hard to enjoy it's hard to make content on the game YouTube is really, really fun when you're enjoying the videos you're making and you want to watch the videos you're making and you want to make the videos you're making, but if there's no motivation to make a videos on a 10-year-old game where there's no new content, there's no new cycles of anything, then it just gets so incredibly boring. Back in April, I started the GTA 6 concept series, which was a really, really fun series, but it's hard to just sit around and speculate on a game that could still be years away. We had tons of leaks and tons of information. Hell, even a 60-page document was released by the community and all the things that could be possibly coming in this game and the leaks and the types of birds you'll be able to see and the size of your feet and a bunch of random crap that is technically official, but it could still change in the real game when it comes out. It's just still leaks for now, but the leaks that were actually of the game. So if you guys would like to see more GTA 6 concepts, I would be down, but I, I just want to wait for an announcement or something where it's actually within the light at the end of the tunnel. Right now, there is no tunnel. There is no announcement. There is no official release date. There is no release date window. Uh, there's only speculation, and it's really hard to just poke at things that aren't even there it's it's really fun to get excited for the game and make these speculations but they get old after a while like i said i would like to continue it at some point once there's an actual announcement maybe some official trailers to actually look at but as of right now there's just really nothing and the other bit of content i would kind of like to do is some streaming whether it just be, you know, monotonous grinding of money over on PlayStation because I'm not playing PC. It is way too dangerous to play on PC, especially while you're streaming. And no, I'm not going to get a third-party software to play the game to protect myself with a VPN. It's bad enough that you have to get a third-party software for these mod menus to even play the online publicly in GT Online on PC. But to, not only publicly, but just like to protect yourself as well. It is such a messed up just ordeal gt online on pc but the, i've already talked about that many times and how crappy it is and you know rockstar won't do anything about it unfortunately whether it's their fault or not who knows so if you guys would like to see some streams over on my legitimate account that i've had since day one over on police station do let me know maybe i can do some of those during the week but for videos, I don't really think I will be doing anything anytime soon, consistently, unless I think of something brilliant. Because one thing that Zyron and I were doing with the Modern Life series was that was fairly, fairly new, and it was kind of a breakthrough in content for GT Online. It was really, really cool at the time, a whole lot of fun, but obviously where mod menus are nowadays and how many people have menus nowadays, it's just, it's way too dangerous and it's no longer any fun. Um, I can't help but think that we had a big part in 
making some people get mod menus because we did gain quite a few v amount of views over the time period you know but i didn't condone ever kicking or banning or whatever you can do nowadays with these mod menus but i mean if you're handing out handguns at an elementary school and you tell little johnny not to shoot at anyone you can have it but just don't shoot at anyone someone's gonna get shot at some point and that's a weird analogy giving handguns to elementary schoolers but it's you know it makes sense because a lot of the player base on gta online are children and when they're given this type of power for an extra few bucks they can go rampant with it so any bit of content i do unless it's solo missions like in the background that you're seeing right now if i can do it solo just for video purposes i will do it on pc but for the most part i will be doing most of my content over on playstation once again don't get me wrong i'm not going anywhere i'm not like retiring or quitting i still want to make gta videos for this channel but with just how old the game is and how lackluster the content is there's not much to do now and i we all didn't really think we would have to wait this long for gta 6 so if gta 6 comes out anytime soon i'll be i'll be here i, I would definitely love to make new videos on that game do some walkthroughs of single player uh figure out easter eggs all sorts of stuff guides series uh, the whole nine yards i would love to do so but unfortunately that's just there's no release window we don't know when that will be and to just try to make something out of nothing that is gt online right now is just very very monotonous and boring this game has changed my life that's something super weird to say about a video game but it, it really has and though i'm taking a big break now i would love love to pick it back up once gta 6 comes out and make tons of videos when that comes out or some trailers or announcements or something something comes out about that game that is official from rockstar themselves if you've made it this far into the video thank you i genuinely do mean it the fact that you're still giving me a chance after i've not been so consistent and i hope you end up giving me a chance to continue doing youtube once gta 6 has a release window and leading up to the release of the game at the end of the day i would love 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 to continue making videos for this game but unfortunately there's just no motivation because of the lack of content just to be made on this game and the lack of content that rockstar gives us so i, I kind of made it short and sweet i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are having a wonderful 10 year gt online anniversary and i hope you're all doing well in real life as well so uh, with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace